Hey there, home learners. I'm glad to see you again. Welcome back to part three of our four part story creation in Scratch Junior. So already we've done part one orientation and part two events. If you haven't seen that yet. Go back and look at that first. Today we're going to do part three, which is problem. So come along and let's get cracking. Take a look at Scratch Junior. We'll enter the app and go back to project one. That's what we've been working on. And there we are. Now we have the first scene, which is our orientation and our second, which are the events. Let's go ahead and watch that now, just so we remember what the story is all about. If you click on this button here, it'll make it a big screen and then the green flag. So they're walking. Let's go to school, Drago. Okay. And he does his little happy dance. I can hide myself and she's off. All right. Now, one thing I want to show you is if you come out of this, you see at the very end where she goes and turns invisible off to school, we can make it switch from one slide, which is the first, all the way to the second. To do that, you click over here and you find, oh, sorry, the end, the red one, and you find this that says slide two. It has a little picture of it. You go ahead and grab that and stick it right there on the end, and now it will go to the next slide automatically. So let's take a look at slide number two. We can make that big screen and begin. She's at school. Please sit down, class. There are the naughty boys, Charlie and his friend. You boys are naughty. And then Drago appears. They are very naughty boys. And that's that. All right, so now we're going to go on to slide number three. To do that, you click on the plus, and we are here at slide number three. I'm going to get rid of this little guy by holding down. All right, before we begin, I want to go back to slide two to set something we have the teacher in the classroom. I want to click on the teacher tab. And after she says, please sit down, which is here, I'm going to make her pause. I'm going to make her wait just a little bit. And then I want her to leave the classroom. So she came in at five. Now she's going to go out at five. And then I'll make her disappear. And to do that on the pink tab. That way she's left the classroom and we don't have to worry about her in the next scene. So, doo -doo, please sit down, she turns around, I should actually reset it all the way, there we go, turns around, and walks off, perfect, okay, good, now we can go to scene three, scene three is going to be the same, it's the problem, so we need to put the background in, and we are in the classroom, we'll pick that one, and then we need our characters, of course, so let's go ahead and let's find Florence. There she is. We'll add her, and she's in the middle. And then we need the two boys. One of them is Charlie. So we'll get this boy here, and I believe he was on this side. And the third boy, which I'll call Charlie. There he is. And Charlie will be next to her. The teacher has already left. But you notice, look at on slide two, we have Space Town, Unit 18. We need to put that back in so it's consistent. So click on the ABCs and you type in space town. You can make it in the smaller font and move it to the middle about there. And then again, we have unit 18. That way it just won't disappear and all the way at the smallest. Okay, great. Now, what should we have happen here? I think that Charlie is gonna be naughty. Charlie's going to jump up on the table. So let's start with Charlie. On click from the yellow, from the start, Charlie needs to move. So we're going to move him up to the table. I think two, maybe three, not 33. Go back one. There we go. Uh, three, and then maybe a quick jump. So it looks like he actually jumped. Let's see. Yeah, so it looks like he's on the table. Excellent. I'll move him up just a bit. Okay, so Charlie is going to jump on the table and then he needs to do a little uh, danceroo, right? So let's give him a little wobble wobble. Uh, let's put it over here. Wobble, wobble, jump. And maybe a little lefty, righty dance. There we go. So let's see what that looks like. Wobble, wobble, jump. Lefty, left. 
I like it. We'll put that in a loop, and you can do make him do anything, really. He just needs to be kind of goofy. He's a silly guy. All right, we'll add that loop in. Now, this other boy is not just going to stand here. I think he wants to on-click do something, too. So we'll click on his tab, get the green arrow, and on start, we'll make him... We'll make him do some dancing, too. He's doing a little crazy dance. Uh, just a hop, I think. All right. It doesn't really matter. You can play around with these. Um, now, the idea is that the problem is, from my storyboard, Charlie has jumped up on the table, and he is he's going to take something from Florence. And what I wanted that to be was a pencil. So it looks like he's got a pencil in his hand. So... I'm going to have Florence now. And now Florence, so Florence hasn't done anything yet. So we want Charlie to do his dance first. So we'll click on Charlie. And then we want to send an envelope. Remember how to do that in the yellow tab? We're going to send a letter to say it's time for Florence to, we can keep it orange, to move. So now we can go to Florence and we can choose the envelope. On the envelope, she needs to jump up to try to get it. And we'll make her uh, jump twice, I think. Jump, jump, and then say something. Uh, so everybody knows that Charlie has taken the pencil. So maybe she says, give me back my pencil, Charlie. And I put the name in there so everybody knows that that's who she's talking to. Oh, good. And then she's going to jump, jump again, trying to get it back. All right, let's take a look at that. Reset the whole thing and go. Jumps up on the table. Na, 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 na. Give me back my pencil, Charlie. Jump, jump. Oh, good. Okay, now I think Charlie needs to say something. So we're going to send an envelope back over to Charlie, and it'll be red this time. So Charlie is going to receive the red envelope. Let's see here, uh, receive it. And after that, what's he going to do? He's going to play keep away, I think. So he'll jump twice. And then he'll say, hmm, is he going to give it back? He'll say, no way. He's teasing, right? No No way. Ha, ha, ha. All right. And this boy's just kind of standing there. So maybe we could get him to do some more dancing. Um, let's give him a good wobble. I think that might be better. We'll do a wobble, wobble, my favorite wobble, wobble, little jump. And we'll put that in a loop. And then we don't have to really worry about him. Okay. So Charlie says, no way. And he plays the keep away. One last time, just because. Now, it's time for Drago to show himself. So we need to add Drago back in. After Charlie does his, he's going to send a letter to Drago. So we got a third letter to send. And we'll make this one yellow. And now we'll add a new tab, Drago. I think we use this one. There's Drago. All right, we're gonna turn him around. So on start, we will make him face this way, done. Okay, now we can put him off to the side. And remember what we did last time? We made him disappear. So right at the beginning, we'll make him disappear. Now, he's going to receive the yellow envelope. So we'll go to yellow and he's still invisible, but he can say something. So let's go ahead and move him over and move him up, but while he's invisible. So we'll do it over on this one. So on start, we'll move over this way, and let's say five, and we'll move up four, and that will get him in position. Maybe. Let's check a look. I can't see where he is because I made him invisible. Let's see. And then we'll add... Uh, let's make him not invisible at the end so I can see where he is. Over through, and then perfect. I think that'll be fine. Uh, maybe we'll go not over so much, four maybe. Okay. 
reset. Now, when he gets that envelope from Charlie, he's going to say something too. Um, and what does Dragon say? He's going to rumble and roar, right, from our book? So let's try that. Rumble and roar. Maybe twice, because it's in the story, the, the song. Rumble and roar. Okay. Let's reset everything and have a look. Here we go. So they're dancing. He's on the table. She's jumping up. Give me back my pencil, Charlie. And then she jumps, jumps. He jumps, jumps. Keep away. No way. Rumble and roar. Rumble and roar. Excellent. That sets it up for him to reveal himself. Okay. Well, I think that takes care of the problem. What was it again for my storyboard? Charlie's being naughty. He's jumping on the table and teasing Florence. He stole her pencil and he won't give it back. But he doesn't know that Charlie, uh, Charlie doesn't know that Florence has a dragon and Drago is going to come out next. So for the next video, we'll do the resolution. Come on back with me and let's do that together. Until next time, I'll see you. Bye-bye.